Today, we'll be starting off with the first law of motion. The law is every object persists in a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line, unless it is compelled to change that state by forces impressed on it. This law will be demonstrated by the sand. Currently, the sand has a normal force and a gravitational force acting on it. But when he presses this button, only the gravitational force is acting upon it, which causes the sand to fall. Here we have a larger model of it. Moving on to the next law. The second law is acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. The way this law will be shown is through the, this cannon. The larger the amount of TNT added to the cannon will cause the cannon to shoot the TNT farther. As the TNT amount increases, the mass increases and the explosion will increase causing the magnitude of the acceleration to increase. Please shoot it. Here's a larger scale model. Watch how it is shot farther. Third and final law is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law will be exhibited by colliding carts. When the carts collide, that'll be the action, and when the carts move backwards, that'll be the equal and opposite reaction.